Melissa Baldwin regularly drives over the Pioneer Bridge between West Sacramento and Sacramento. Something is not right. Something's not right with the materials. Something's not right with the construction. There's, there's something not right. She remembers when construction crews started on this section two years ago and thought the delays were worth it if she got a smoother ride. Now she's wondering how a recently resurfaced roadway could already look like this. There's definitely some sort of issue with, with the road and how the construction ended up turning out. Caltrans spent $26 million to put a layer of this material down on the bridge. It's made up of resin, sand, and bits of gravel. The multi-layered system, as it's called in the construction world, is less than half an inch thick, but it didn't stick. Myers and Sons was the lead contractor on the project. We don't know why ultimately the product failed. I mean, we had an independent study done that was inconclusive. It pointed to a couple different possibilities. The manufacturer, Quick Bond Polymers in Benicia, said the problem wasn't with their product, but with oil and chemicals in the concrete deck of the bridge. Quick Bond's president said in an email to KCRA, we have done many projects in California without issue, so this was a very unusual condition. The first batch of repairs held, but the overlay started to peel off in other areas on the bridge. Did you know that that was going to happen? We identified, when we did our preliminary investigation, we identified areas that had the potential for additional failures, and the failures that we've seen are in those areas. While the manufacturer said it's been used on bridges across the country, contractor Clint Myers is now questioning its reliability. This product has had a mixed success across the country. Workers will be going back out to remove and replace more sections using a modified version of the product and hoping this time it will stick. No, we feel pretty confident that this next set of repairs should be it. The initial work and two summers of repairs have all been covered under warranty. So while drivers have had to deal with summer after summer of construction delays, it's not costing taxpayers any additional money. But even though neither the manufacturer, the contractor, nor Caltrans can say with any certainty why it keeps coming off, Caltrans hasn't taken the quick bond overlay off its list of approved materials. The modified product is, I mean, it's, it's working. It's holding up everywhere that they have replaced it with. It's, it's holding. But engineers say it should have a 10-year lifespan. If the road starts to come apart again next year, the warranty period will be over with and taxpayers could get stuck with another multi-million dollar repair bill. In a bumpy road and Melissa Baldwin says Caltrans and the contractors need to smooth this over for taxpayers and drivers. Hopefully Caltrans or some other, uh, whoever they're either contracting it out to, would figure out what the problem is, whether it's at the engineer's level or the materials level, whatever that problem is so that it can get fixed. And then as a driver, we don't have to worry about it anymore.